an unsettling arrest in Hillsborough County. A now former teacher lands behind bars accused of punching a nine-year-old student with autism. Prisha Rodriguez was a behavior support teacher at Eisenhower Exceptional Center. He's also a former football player at Auburn University. Fox 13's Kylie Jones is following this story live from district headquarters. Kylie, bring us up to speed. Yeah, Haley, well, deputies tell us that student has autism and is nonverbal, and they say this incident happened while at school. One mom turned advocate for children with special needs says this is the exact type of incident that she fears every day when she sends her own son to school. A Hillsborough County teacher is out of the classroom, accused of punching a nonverbal student with autism in the face. The sheriff's office says the incident happened earlier this month at Eisenhower Exceptional Center involving the nine-year-old student and behavioral support teacher Prisha Rodriguez. The teacher and the student were walking out of a gymnasium when the child with autism slapped the teacher. The teacher then turned and punched the student in the face, causing him to fall to the ground. As the parent of a child with autism, Brittany Collins says this is something she worries about every single day. It scares me because I'm basically giving my child over to people that I'm supposed to trust and trust that they are properly trained, that they have the patience to keep him safe. Collins' eight-year-old son, Amari, is also nonverbal. She says this is where behavioral therapy and other de-escalation tools are crucial. They sometimes don't know how to express what they're feeling. And being physical may be something that they resort to. Um, it is definitely uh, a common um, behavior with kids with autism, especially that are nonverbal. Collins also advocates for staffing classrooms with enough teachers and aides who are also trained specifically to work with children with different levels of special needs. In this case, the school district says the incident was reported immediately and that child was cared for. In a statement, Hillsborough County Public Schools said, quote, Mr. Rodriguez was removed from the school while the investigation was going on and has now been terminated from the district. We are deeply disturbed by the charges. The safety and well-being of our students is our top priority. Rodriguez is now facing one count of child abuse. The district said he was hired in August and had no other issues during his employment. Haley. All right. Kylie Jones reporting tonight in Tampa. Kylie, thank you.